every day the chance to become the most beautiful day of your life said mark twain and i quote hello everybody i'm your host seema and i welcome you all to brand new insightful session on great principles joining me in conversation is very joyful educator of the day the person who is surely going to bring smile to all our faces she is mrs varsha sudeep kokil principal mansukh bhai kochari national school pune and i must say this lady when i met her i was in complete awe she has her energy and she knows how to handle her team very well her team not only supports her but also respects her in every manner i'm sure today we have a lot of learning coming through our way please join me in welcoming Dr. mrs varsha kokil welcome to great principles ma'am we are really honored to have you with us hello all hello seema it's nice to see you again so ma'am now today let us know about you about your journey and how you all started so tell me what motivated you to join education sector see i started my journey as a research associate way back after my uh, research degree and post graduation and uh, i was fortunate uh, to be um, Um, groomed by a group of educationists who were very passionate about uh, the education i would like to um, say thank you to them i'm all, of course i'm uh, in gratitude for life to them uh, mr deshpande i call him my guru he was uh, the one who groomed me then there was karandikar ma'am i worked in uh, uh indian institute of education and uh, though my work was related to research and reference and teacher education i was more uh, inclined towards the research work but gradually then i realized that yes school education is something which fascinates me and uh, gradually i got uh, attracted to school education and i joined the school and certainly the passion which you saw in them today is that is what has been in you also you also work with a whole enthusiasm and passion towards your work and that is the result that we are seeing today so ma'am tell me that you know teachers are the sculptors of the youth of the nation that shall be and this youth would be the leader for tomorrow so tell me one thing ma'am how can we as teachers as educators as parent influence nation's youth to be constructive and progressive and uh, what is your philosophy in this and if any such things you are applying in your current school we would like to know that too it's very interesting question actually you and the canvas is so big you have asked what teachers and then parents can do for this for our nation's youth if you see uh, we are talking about nation's youth and we are talking about school children and uh, we are talking about what teachers can do how can they contribute i feel that uh, what we need at this point where we stand today after two years of pandemic a lot of introspection is required what is expected of our children first and if that is expected then we have to ask ourselves are we equipped to deliver are we equipped as teachers and as educators to groom them for the global platform for our nation what is required and india is uh, said to be having the it is a young nation isn't it so i think we have to introspect are we equipped and when we start this journey of introspection we arrive at uh, a few uh, conclusions that teachers needs to be equipped they need teachers need uh, to be trained and they need uh training and orientations so that they groom our uh, young generation at this point where we stand today post pandemic we are talking about nep the nep is talking about uh, integration of 21st century skills the nep is talking about sustainable development goals and there is a big question mark about it. how do we go ahead with this we are talking about grooming our children for the future on a global platform so i think we start we have to start with teachers grooming first teachers training first to start with once we do that it can go hand in hand also 
and once we do that then i think we will be successful in grooming our children and preparing our children uh, for the global platform so we have to integrate 21st century skills in our curriculum we have to integrate all the three l's of 21st century skills the learning skills the literacy skills and the life skills it's a big challenge uh, today for teachers to do that but here in our school we have already started the journey last year and uh, i am very happy to share with you seema that uh, uh, our teachers are doing an amazing job of integrating 21st century skills in our curriculum then we are also addressing uh, sustainable development goals uh, in our curriculum and uh, last year we also went ahead with uh, international collaboration and uh, our children are being oriented about about the sustainable development so uh, yes the journey is not very easy it's tough but once you have made up your mind and you know what to do what to deliver and when we have students welfare i think the things become quite clear so i'm i'm con i'm quite confident that uh, yes our uh, youth will be constructive they will be progressive and uh, will definitely groom them for the global platform wonderful very beautifully answer that you know first work on the teachers because when guru is equipped then only they can deliver the best to the children so this is the part which i love that we first need to focus on grooming our teachers and ma'am as ma'am school has already taken that step and she is looking that her teachers are trained well and they are putting in best similarly all other schools will be doing this and everyone will strive their best and i'm sure with the educators like varsha ma'am future for our youth is certainly very very bright so moving ahead to my next question i have seen you working with your team seamlessly the way you handle your team is incredible ma'am so i would like to know from you with so many things adding up as rightly you also said stem is uh, the nep is there so many uh, life skills and the sustainable development goals everything has to be mapped together to teach so there is some concept called steam education system also so i would like to know from you what are the benefits of steam education system and why it should be an integral part of learning uh before i come to steam uh, education system i would like to uh, state that teachers they follow uh, eclectic approach uh for teaching and learning and uh, there are various pedagogical uh, interventions which teachers use depending on the concept to be taught and uh, of course steam is one of the um, innovative uh, intervention and uh, it's very interesting so uh, when i look at steam education system or one of the pedagogical intervention uh, i find it quite interesting but again here i would like to share on this platform that uh, no beard and emet course have uh, taught our teachers how to go about it so ultimately it is the school uh, school's duty to and responsibility to ensure that teachers are trained again so here teachers training again plays a vital role uh, to make steam education a successful uh, pedagogical intervention so what is steam steam is science technology engineering arts and mathematics so how do we go about it i would like to share with you that uh, there are multiple benefits uh, of uh, adopting this teaching learning method like you know i um, i was on my round and uh, i saw this cube okay it i found it in uh, the library okay so i just uh, along with this there were other few things these are mathematical tools i just uh, brought it with me they were supposed to be in some other room and i found it in library so i brought it to my room now can this be used for steam education okay so when i ask this question i have to be resourceful to answer that question so that's why i said teachers have to be very resourceful they have to be you know trained to look at the thing and ask this question can this be used for steam education in my view yes it can be used 
Okay, how do we go about it? Let's say now we know what is STEAM is. STEAM is science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Arts is being added recently. Previously, it was STEM, S T E M, and arts is, I think, added just a couple of years ago. So this, suppose I want to teach using this pedagogical intervention, I'll start with like, what is this? Okay, this is a uh, plastic rubber, okay, that. And what is it? What's the chemical compound in it? What is the element involved in it? How is this rubber made? You know, how is this uh, plastic rubber foam sheet, we call it as it is made? What is the chemistry science involved in this? What is the technology used to make this? How is that technology used in the factory? Okay. What are the various machines used to make this? What are the various uses of this? So a lot of science and technology and engineering we can teach using this simple one. Okay. And STEM, when we say it is not only STEM education system, there are various pedagogical interventions which automatically work hand in hand when we are using STEM education. Then comes to like, when you come to like arts, so you never know a piece of cube can motivate anyone for art. So various art form, abstract art forms are there, 3D art forms are there. And we all know that drawing 3D uh, figures is so difficult. And then of course, let's come to mathematics, which everyone is, uh, not everyone, but most of the students have phobia about it. How can math be taught using this? So when we are teaching this particular material, uh, math can also be taught. Suppose this particular one. So it is very obvious that this is a mathematical uh, figure, mathematical shape. So using, I think, um, of course, it, it sounds uh, easier, but teachers have to really work very hard and for long hours to um, give a thought to it and then also give a thought to various pedagogical interventions which can be incorporated into this. For example, I, I'm, if I am a teacher, I will probably use a, a PBL as well with this. I will probably use EL also with this to incorporate into this. So STEAM has multiple benefits and uh, if we start from, from the initial years of uh, the school education children the most the most important benefit is this children will relate to uh, relate all these concepts to real life they know that okay science technology or arts and math they are not airtight compartments they are not watertight compartments it's all linked you know there is nothing which is in isolation they all are so nicely amalgamated they are so one so i think stem is very interesting uh, pedagogical inter intervention and uh, teachers should uh, try their hands on and uh, make teaching learning interesting for the students so that they enjoy it and it becomes a joyful learning for the children wow so brilliantly explained with the example of the cube which ma'am had that how can one object be related to all the subjects and taught to the child and by this kind of approach the child actually enjoys the learning and that is what we all want that learning must happen in a fun manner so beautifully described by ma'am here but yes the key lies in making our teacher more resourceful as mentioned by ma'am so the biggest takeaway from this answer is yes there are a lot of things to be done there is steam there is nep there is sgds and what all we all want best for our children. So the onus of doing the best lies greatly on the school. As ma'am also said that in training, we are not taught about the new things which are coming up. Like we were never taught about inculcating STEAM in education. So these all things, the responsibility lies greatly on school leaders and how they ensure that their team is continuously learning and growing with the demanding needs of the uh, nation. So this was very wonderfully answered by ma'am. Now we have reached to the very interesting segment of the show. This is called the rapid fire round map. So I'll oh. be asking you a few questions which you have to answer me in one word or a statement. Okay. I'll try my best. Never had this rapid fire in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's easier. It's most difficult to say in less word the meaningful thing. So that is the most yes. difficult task. But I'm sure and you're going to teachers, do great. Yeah. And especially teachers. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So let us start with the very first question. One yes. thing every child must learn to truly be a global citizen. Learning to learn. Wow. That's a beautiful answer. Yes, you need to be a lifelong learner. Coming ahead to my next question. What are your hobbies? How do you spend your recreational time? Mm, I love to do yoga with meditation and uh, nature walks. They are the okay. best things, beautiful things. Coming up to my and next question. And listening to music, of course, the most distressing. No wonder. Yes, music, nature walks and uh, yoga, meditation. These are the few things which keeps ma'am, you know, mentally and uh, emotionally also connected with nature and keeps her fit also when she does nature trails. So wonderful to know about this. Moving ahead to my next question. If you were given an opportunity to one change one thing in our Indian education system, what would be that? I would include uh, a course on learning to learn first. And uh, it will continue across the grades. That's, that's really needed and the need of the hour. You know, we our children are just running away. They just don't want to learn. So at times it is important to ensure that they first learn this. So beautiful thought. See, I, I mm -hmm. only feel, Seema, that we teach, you know, so many subjects and so many concepts. But we don't teach children how to learn. That is missing. We have to teach them first how to learn. Yes, completely agree with you, ma'am. Even I faced with this dilemma when I teach my own kids. You know, I'm teaching them the subject. I'm teaching them the concept. But how should I, you know, inculcate that fire, that spark in them so that they are curious to learn more and more, to know more and more, to question more and more. And this is what is needed. So really a wonderful thought of starting this. And I hope that uh, may this be implemented soon. So yeah. moving ahead to my next question to you. Who is that person who motivates you, inspires you and advises you when it comes to educational advice? Oh. It's a very lengthy question. <laughs> <laughs> See, I mentioned that I was fortunate uh, to be groomed by uh, who is who of the education, and uh, I call them guru. Uh, it's um, Dr. Deshpande. He groomed me so much so that uh, I used to refer to him whenever I used to be, you know, at dead ends. And uh, he was a guru who never gave me ready-made answers, okay? He helped me with the ways and means to reach at the answers, okay? So he made me um, independent and self-reliant. And uh, he also imbibed that your uh, uh, answers to be based on certain value system, integrity and ethics. So... Uh, initially, I used to go to him, run to him, but now with his uh, grooming, uh, I have become self-dependent and uh, independent professional. But there are, in a profession, you know, uh, there is no one person whom you can go to. There are technical things, legal things are there. Then there is, there are various experts who uh, help me uh, from time to time. Wonderful. It's so good to be, you know, surrounded by such amazing people always who are ready to support you. Coming up to the last question in this segment, are you a movie buff? Yes or no? No. All right. So you're not a movie buff. So not a Bollywood or Hollywood fan either, right? I do watch. I do watch movies, but uh, um, like uh, not a uh, regular one. I think last movie I have seen must be a couple of months ago. Rather, rather more than six months ago. So I'm not into that. But I listen to reviews and mm -hmm. when I'm driving and uh, I read the reviews. So a little bit I know about it. That's all. All right. So just before we sign off, there is one thing that I would like to take from you as one advice for our dear parents. So you are asking a teacher. So... <laughs> So it can't be one, but I would like to uh, share that uh, parents need to take, uh, assume the responsibility of students' uh, education. So parents will say, we are taking responsibility, you know, uh, we are.
are putting them in very good schools we are paying uh, hefty fees we are putting them to different uh, coachings and uh, other uh, extracurricular activities as well but education doesn't stop there you know and when you when i say that you start taking interest in student education i don't mean that go and ask teacher about what is not taught why this half mark cut there and one mark there why did you scold my child and why not this i'm talking about uh, uh, getting involved at a higher level and child should know that my parents are involved that makes the difference and uh, wow. another uh, piece of advice suggestion rather i would say that parents have to work shoulder to shoulder with the teachers children must know that my parents and my teachers they are a team then only you get you reach the goal and you achieve the targets once your child will know that my parents are against the teachers or against the school the team breaks and you know what happens there it's a team event it's not an individual event so it's my request to parents through this platform that work with your teachers and i think that is very much needed because once you know our children are reflection of us they follow our footstep and we are the role models once we respect the teachers and once we tell our students that no we you have to follow teachers instruction this is how it is going to be i am not going to say anything against the teacher and no complaints should come to me especially for your teacher the child automatically understand that though there is no way for me to just you know escape here or there neither to towards my teacher towards my parents they all are together so i think this is a beautiful and wonderful advice by ma'am so to all my dear viewers do follow this and see how your child reach to the success because he spends half of the time in school and half of the time at home so we both need to work as a team so wonderful advice shared by ma'am here so thank you so much ma'am for sharing your views with us and giving us time to know about you and your journey and how you are ensuring that your children achieve the success and beautiful advice for our parents too thank you so much and we hope to see you again on many of our short series coming soon thank you so much sima for this opportunity to share my thoughts on this platform it was really quite refreshing talking to you